Welcome back to Hume's Little Homestead. <laughs> excited something that I ordered in the mail is coming tomorrow so we have to prepare should I tell them what it is for this project we are using window screen and these white things what are these called these are the frames for window screen. Window frames. It's totally cold out here. Are we going inside? No. Oh, we're staying out here. <laughs> I'm so excited. I came up with an idea. Well, first, there's a problem. I will show you the problem right now, and then I will... So many aphids. Those little black dots are aphids? Yes, they are. That's a lot of aphids. We need to put Whoa. some so ladybugs ladybug in there. ladybug is definitely going to go on this plant. Let's see. Where can we put this plant up? Right there. So now that you have seen our aphid problem, I have tried to handle it with neem oil, and I think that the problem came from the pepper plants that I brought inside. I'm not exactly sure. I just, the first plant I saw aphids on was the habanero plant. So... I'm kind of thinking that's where the source of all the aphids were from. Anyway, normally how I handle aphids is ladybugs. So, in an effort to try and stop ordering ladybugs every year, I'm going to try and farm them myself here at home. So this is going to be a ladybug farm. I'm really excited to try this process with you and take you along for this journey. I'm not sure if it's going to work. We're just doing a big experiment here. out the old fish tank. Oh, we have a timer. Oh, nice. Is that for lights? Mm -hmm. Awesome. This is going to be used for the quail tomorrow. We'll, have a, well, this video is going to be up tomorrow. We'll have a video on this soon, too. Maybe we'll do it in this video. Seashells. All the useful stuff. This was when we had fish a very long time ago. I don't know what the lid is for that. These are just ones that I had from a uh, screen that I built for the house. So I'm just gonna... Our house. Yeah, for our house. So the kit, I ordered this kit on Amazon a long time ago. It came with all the frames, came with corner pieces um, and the screen, came with the rubber gasket and the tool to install it. They're really easy to use. I thought uh, building screens was gonna be a lot more difficult, but I mean, you just pop in the, the corner pieces like so. Next corner, want to make sure you have your uh, slotted sides lined up because that's how you're going to install the screen itself. Okay, so I've got that marked. Now let me get a marker so I can mark these. The quail are probably freaking out. Probably. <laughs> what do you think, quail? We're out here at night with you? Huh? Pretty crazy. 
They're like looking over here like, what's going on? What's going on? My humans are out here. So I'm just going to mark this out here. Um, like I say, these are going to be too wide because they're just scraps that I had. So I'm just going to line it up here and mark it right where I need to cut it. And you got to remember when you're going to cut these that you have to account for your corner piece. Okay, so you have to account for that gap there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back step it a half an inch because that's what these are is a half inch. So I'll cut a half inch this way. That way it'll account for my corner piece. <laughs>
gonna finish cleaning out this fish tank now, just wiping it out with water. It, it just has a little dirt. Living in the garage, a little water stain from when we had fish and Anyway, I'm gonna clean it out with just plain water, nothing else. I haven't done much reading about ladybugs. I was thinking about using vinegar, but I don't wanna kill these bugs when I get them. So I'm just gonna wipe it out with water. And in the morning, I'll have the kids, I'll tell the kids what's going on, they have no idea. And I'll have them help me decorate the fish tank. I bought some fun, well, I, we had some things in the garage that I think would be kind of fun for them to be crawling in and out of. And I was in the clearance aisle at Walmart and I bought some fun little fish tank things that were like, I think a dollar. So anyway, I thought that would be kind of cute and fun to have some decor in our ladybug farm.
we hatched ladybugs as a project, uh, I want to say last year or possibly the year before that. And we bought ladybug land and it was from ladybug land from insect lore. And it was a really fun project and we got to see the life cycle of the ladybug. I have a really funny story about how I learned about the life cycle of the ladybug. So when I was a kid, I was always trying to bring animals home. I just loved all kinds of animals, all kinds of critters. And my mom was always saying, no, no, no. So at my school, there was an elm tree and it had lots of aphids on it. And I, I read a library book or something. I learned about ladybugs somewhere and how they eat aphids. And I was so excited about these ladybugs eating aphids. So I went and got and there were ladybugs on the tree. And when I looked closer, there were also aphids on the tree. So I took a branch of the tree and put it in my pencil box and took it home. I then put this tree branch with the ladybugs and the aphids in a jar in my house and hid it in my closet. <laughs> and every day after school, I would take aphids from this elm tree to feed my ladybugs and I was collecting ladybugs and aphids and in the jar and I observed their behavior and I actually saw a ladybug laying eggs and a little cluster of eggs and so I observed all of this in my bedroom closet in my room. My mom probably knew this was happening. I don't foresee that she didn't know that I was hiding a jar in my closet. I don't know. I'll have to ask her if she knew that I had a jar of ladybugs with aphids in my closet. <laughs> anyway, so that's when I learned that ladybug larvae don't look like ladybugs at all. I was horrified to find, because I got the eggs out because it was really cool and exciting and I put the eggs in another jar to watch them hatch. And I was horrified what, with what came out of the eggs. There were these little black creatures and I was like, oh, those are so scary looking. And then I realized those are baby ladybugs. And so ever since then, I knew that those little black, people say alligators, they don't really look like alligators to me. I guess they have that body shape, but they look sort of like flat roly polies. And they have yellowish spots on them and they're black and they're super tiny and they're super fast and they're a little creepy crawly. And So that's when I learned about the ladybug's life cycle. And so I thought it'd be really fun to do with my kids. So I got ladybug land and we ordered bugs and I can't remember if it was a heat wave, something happened and all of the ladybugs in the tube died except for one and we named that one Spot. And it was really fun to watch one and I emailed them. It was, it was the heat wave and it was during COVID and shipping was crazy. And the, these bugs were in the mail for like forever. And so anyway, the one survived and I emailed insect lore, but because there was no one working at that time, I didn't get an email back for like months. And then months later I get this email. Oh yes, we'll replace your ladybugs. And so then we did the whole process again and the ladybugs came sooner that time and they weren't stuck in the mail in the middle of a heat wave and they didn't die. And we got to watch a lot of them hatch and emerge. So I'm really excited to see if I can replicate this. And I know it sounds really silly or strange to start a ladybug farm in my home because I don't know. But I was just thinking about it and I'm like, it's a little strange, but it was $26. I paid $26 to get the ladybugs shipped to my house. I paid $2 extra to get overnight shipping because I just really wanted them to get here quickly because of the aphid problem. And so I was thinking about it. Well, these bigger companies, they're literally farming ladybugs and selling them as well. So why can't I just do it at home to save money? And I also just went shopping this morning, grocery shopping for our family. And I just, it, the prices of groceries are going up and I'm like, well, I don't want to have to be ordering ladybugs when I need to get groceries for my family. So I'm hoping to be able to, I'm hoping to have sustainable colony. I don't know if that's what you would call ladybug family. <laughs> I'm going to have to do a lot of reading on ladybugs and uh, get them the proper environment. But I know I did it as a little fourth grader in a jar in my closet. So I know if I can do it then with minimal resources as a kid, I'm thinking I can 
figure out how to do this process as an adult. So we'll keep you posted. This is something I've never tried before. I am just sharing what I'm learning as I go. And huge thanks to Ryan for making the most awesome lid. day three of the sourdough starter. I just woke up this morning and I'm getting ready to go out and take care of the animals, but I want to show you what happened with the sourdough starter. It's really exciting and I think it's exciting and this has never happened for me, so I think that means that it's working correctly right now. When we took the sourdough starter out yesterday and refilled it, it was like up to here and it grew overnight. And look at all those bubbles in there. I'm so excited. This is crazy. So, I think it's safe to say we've done it right so far. This is day three. So I'm getting really excited to try this sourdough starter out. Oh my goodness, look what's going on with the sourdough. So this is still, so it was day, we started this sourdough starter two days ago, so this is technically th day three. The morning, it's the morning of day two. So I don't know if that makes any sense. Anyway, this afternoon will be day three. So I think we did it right this time because I never ever had this happen before. So I am not going to do anything with it. I'm just going to put it in this bowl in case it starts. Yeah, I'm just going to let it do its thing because we're going to have to discard some of it later. So as long as it doesn't make a mess, I'll just stick it in this bowl and it should be fine. But that is just crazy. It's just, I guess we fed it the right stuff. It's growing. Good job, growing Bubbles. <laughs> Where are we going? We're going to Holbrook. Do you guys know what we're doing right now? We're finding us out a surprise for an animal? Yeah, at Grandma Laura's house. And it might not be an animal. What else do I collect? Bugs. Plants? <laughs> Please let it not be a So everybody's making their it's guesses. A we're getting a surprise. For It's a family project. Mm -hmm. And we're getting a surprise. And everybody is going to give their guesses on what the surprise is. But it is an animal because... Are you sure? Yes, because plants don't grow in, in fish tanks. Yes, they do. Yeah, they do. Aquatic plants. Please so let it not be a plant. Okay, Kaden, do you have a guess? I think my guess is... My guesses are either ladybugs, hermit crabs, or fish. You have three guesses. Mm -hmm. Alright, hand it back to Levi so he can give his guess. Or guesses. My guesses are a salamander, a lizard, or fish, or a ladybug. Ladybug. It's going to be a lady, ladybugs, um, hermit crab, fish, and then a lady plant. Okay, that's my guesses. Now time for Hannah. Oh yeah, a uh, puffer fish or a zebra fish. Oh, puffer fish. <laughs> I 
other two guesses are a skink and some sea monkeys. So we'll see what we get. So why? Tell me why you're guessing these animals. Because there's a fish tank, there's seashells, and there's sea monkey stuff and ladybug stuff on her bathroom sink. So nobody guessed praying mantis, did they? Yeah, I was gonna guess that. Maybe two guesses. Water monkeys or play, um, play mattresses. Okay, bye bye. Sea monkeys. Okay. okay, sea monkeys. Okay, bye bye. I guess a bug. Just waiting for our surprise. Why not two years? Just Got some Burger King. Because mm -hmm. these guys were doing really good on doing their laundry before we had to rush out the door. Mm -hmm. Did you get all yours folded and put away? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh -huh. Good. It's here, it's here. It's here. Can... No, 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 no. I can't tell oh, you. God. I have Emmett in my arms. Here, buddy. He fell asleep in my arms. Okay, okay, here. Here, Jaden, you hold this. I'll get the door. Is that the other door? Thank you. Have a good day. You can't look. It's a surprise. You want to open it here, guys? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's get the counter cleaned off and we'll open it. We have to clean off Grandma's counter because we're Is going it home. Bugs? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, frozen. Okay. So it's in water. Uh, I'm gonna slice it carefully so that whatever is inside of here doesn't get damaged. You know damaged. what's inside of it, but we yes, don't. Yes, I do know what's inside of here because I ordered it. And she remembers. So I'm gonna do the cutting, and then they're gonna peek in and tell us what it is. What is it? What if we don't know what it is? Hmm. That's a good question. And what if you don't know what it is? I I know what it is. If they send the thing I ordered, I guess it's possible they could send something else. Okay. All right. That's good. Um, now pass me the camera. It's still gone. Okay. Slide it over to you. Everybody. <laughs> What is it? Baby books. We know it. Are you disappointed? Why? We had them before. We're going to make a ladybug farm. I wanted something that's big. Well, this was not the reaction I was looking for. Well, you know what we're going to do, guys? We're going to try and get them to lay eggs for us so that we can hatch out their eggs and keep them going. Uh -huh. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think, Haley? You usually like critters. Are they cute? Mm -hmm. They're doing really good. They're really active. All right, shall we get them home? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to hold the box. Okay. Perfect. No, I want to. Um, let's not yell. I don't like that at all. Let's try that again. I want to. I want to. If you both want to, can you come up with a solution? No. No, not rock, paper, scissors. We can come up with a solution called sharing. All right. You want to hold them till the railroad tracks, and then whoever holds them till the end gets them at the railroad tracks? Okay. Let's do that. They look interesting crawling around in there. You should get on the other side too. Like them? Yeah, get on the other side too. Oh, you think that side's better? Yeah. 
Okay, let's take them home. Bubbles is overflowing! Oh my, oh my. Look at this. We, it's like a volcano. I think it's working. We're going to use a much bigger jar this evening when we feed it. We just barely got all of our seashells and stuff out to Wait, decorate the, the tank. Thing? Where's the thing you said was in the plant room? Oh, that's right. It's in a Walmart bag. Do you want to go grab it? It's yeah. on the white shelf. Let Yay! Levi. Let Levi. Hey, Leanne. After we've gotten over the initial disappointment, how are we feeling now? Okay. Ailey's pretty excited. Mm -hmm. Hannah was excited. I don't know where she went. Image just excited about everything. Wow. wow. <laughs> Show me what you found, Levi. Fish school. Isn't that so cute? It's not a house, it's school. It's a school, and it kind of looked like a little barn to me. Great, come on. We are going to be using some potting soil. And here's the school. Let me show it. Here's the school. Potting mix. Who named the hermit crab candy? Some grass seed. This is your hermit crab's heart. And show the plant. Hermit crab thing. It's Hermie's hut. Gaden's hermit crab. And then show the school. Okay. And then seashells and a school. Great. Let's get started. She can pretend. We got it ready. Now we're going to sprinkle some grass. Yep. <laughs> um, there's a Walmart bag in my bathroom floor. Mm. And I use my dinosaur ah. for this. Levi, can you grab me a kitchen fork? Yeah, why? Because I need it.
aphids. Those little black dots are aphids? Yes, they are. I want to see how many. I don't want everybody. We are getting some aphids to put in our tank, which is now no fully decorated. Yeah. So I'm going to trim uh, a branch off of this pepper right here. Hey, Lisa, I, what do you like? Are you on Yeah, I think I'm just going to trim this pepper down right here. Can you see? These are not the best tool to do this job with. But there's a lot of aphids on there. Can you see them? Mm-hmm. Okay, and we'll put this in the big tank. Watch this, it hits what about you. Putting it right behind the like uh -huh. that? Yeah. Watch this. That way, the oh, ladybug will have a supply of food. Okay, I think that's a good idea. Stop! Stop, Luba. But it's There we go. That's how the people in the okay. really hot places so do that. So that will feed our ladybugs that end up in here. We're going to put one ladybug on every single plant in this room. That's our next task. It's a lot of ladybugs. And then we're going to put the rest of the ladybugs in, in there. the fish tank. Okay, are we ready? Yes, we were okay. four ready. So we're just going to cut one small corner off of this. <laughs> no, i got to shake them down so I don't kill them. Oh, that's not good. You want to be free of the ladybugs? We're going to cut you in half if you don't go down. Okay. Wow. Uh, Look at this bush one. It's super active right now. I wonder why. Because it's really warm in this room. There we go. <gasps> Smallest hole. Can they get out? Yep. Levi got one. Do you see Levi's finger? Hey! Oh, stop! You're, you're shoving them back in. in. Hmm? There. Okay, go put it on a plant. Ah! They're coming out fast. <laughs> they're coming out fast. Get on! <laughs> Hurry! Hannah, Hannah. Can you see the Show action? Show me of them. Can you see the action? Okay, oh, go geez. put it on a plant. They're all coming out. <laughs> Cheesy Lizzy, they're high. Ah! Go! Ah! Careful! Don't don't yell at them. No, it's stuck on me. It didn't want to get up. Oh, <laughs> you know I mean? it. Hey, I got at least one in there. Oh, 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 ah! <laughs> Ladybug infestation. Okay, they're coming out pretty fast. I think I'm going to shake some out into the schoolhouse area. Oh, man. Well, I know that was your job. Just, um, there's plenty more. Don't ah! worry. Alright, actually I'm going to hold them over here in case they fly off. Okay, here Levi, you can still help. They're all over my arm. Gotcha. Look at my arm. <laughs> Mommy, <laughs> I'll save you, I'll help you. Just hit it and put it on a plant. They're not going to hurt you. They're going to be so hungry and happy to get some aphids. I didn't get it off! Okay, let me take over filming. Kaden, you can hold the bag. Help me! You can hold the bag, Kaden. Come on, get out! Get off! Here, Kaden, hold out. the bag. Oh, finally! This one is the first one and it's still stuck on me. Finally! Yes! Um, I need a second. I want a ladybug! Ah. I need a second! Ah! Too Stop! Long. You're gonna kill it! Oh. Don't yell. There's no reason to yell. Jeez, people! Ladybug, you're hungry. Oh, my arm there. Hey, there's one coming out. Uh oh, you made one fall. It's on Haley's arm. <coughs> Haley, can't get that one off my arm. <laughs> That's two on here. Oh, they're thirsty. This one found some water.
So close right up to that. Excuse me. I'm staying in here, okay guys? Me too! See? Set the bag in. We're not gonna try and shake them, just set the bag in there. That's good. Now put the lid on, please. Put the lid right over. And the black part goes down. No 
aphids on those. Ooh, these ones like the majorum. More thirsty than anything. There's another. Oh, that one's eating aphids. So cool. What do you guys think about the ladybug activity now that it's over and done with? Thumbs up, yay! It wasn't as boring as you thought it was, or was it as boring? It was 100 thumbs up! It was so exciting. One one on the back of mom's neck. Hey, I went 100 thumbs up. I loved it. 100 thumbs up? Wow. This, there's only... 10 star reviews and I, I like it. A 10 star? Kaden? If I had to choose, I'd give it a 9 star. You were having fun. You don't want to admit that you were having fun? I wasn't having a lot of fun. I was having a little bit of fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> If you I had, had fun. <laughs> if I had to choose, I'd give it a nine star review. Okay. Nine. All right, Kaden squished it. I didn't know if she was going to show it to the video. So we were excited about how huge it was getting, and I don't know what you did. I just squished it. You just did this. I just went. Okay, anyway. It was big. And it's looking really cool. Bubbles is overflowing, so. Nice and bubbly. It looks like ice cream. It's a little later. It's 6 p.m. I think that we'll go ahead and feed it, though. Oh, I need to grab one thing out of here. A fork. How do we put the fork? Okay, can you see this in the video, bud? What does it eat? We're going to... It eats. So the starter, that's a good question, Haley. It is eating distilled water mixed with more bread flour. Okay, so we're going to add four grams of the starter into here. What we don't use, I am discarding to our pig. <laughs> that's really interesting, though. It definitely looks better than my first try. Last time. Okay. And last time got super stinky by day three. Mm -hmm. It smells like sourdough. This is called mm, it smells, smells like pretty good. I have to say... Oh, a huge dog is coming out. <laughs> I can't stop it. 94 grams. Uh oh. Oh wait, I was supposed to do four ounces. I have to switch it to ounces. 
Oh, good. 3.2 ounces. <laughs> it's like 94 grams. I'm so confused. Get off the fork. It stretched so long. Okay, now we're gonna make the unit the grams. I'm not really sure why this recipe has two different units of measurement, but at least it's easy to fix on here. Oh, I think Ryan maybe replaced the battery because it's not saying low battery anymore. Well, I gotta get that off my hands real fast. Are we ready? Yeah. Perfect. We are going to add one twenty grams of yeah grams one twenty grams of organic. Oh, well, this isn't organic. This is just bread flour. The recipe calls for organic. I used regular, and it worked fine. I didn't have organic, so just gotta do what you gotta do, right? Gotta improvise. Ninety-eight. Ninety-nine. One twenty. Yeah. Let's see what I'm doing. I really need you to pay attention. Okay. Whoa. And then 120 grams of distilled water. Distilled water. Or filtered water. Heavier than flour? I don't know, that's a good question. There it is, 120. Alright, let's mix it again. Thank you for helping me film tonight, Kayla. Hope that's at work. We'll use this nasty fork. Now Bubbles has been fed. Yes, like a living animal, but Bubbles is not a living animal. It's a, it's a little bit alive. I don't really know the sign. So that's day three of feeding Bubbles. our sourdough Bubbles. I'm going to cover it with plastic wrap again. I hope it doesn't boil over this we time. Got good conditions. Good job, little bubbles. Yeah, bubbles. You're gonna. Stop. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Please hit the button and subscribe. And thank you for subscribing. And thank you for subscribing. But if you haven't, if you have please subscribe so. down below. What are you doing, bud? That's home. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.